Good morning. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we are still out in the mountains. It's a chilly one, and this is the only jacket that I brought with me. It was not supposed to be as cold as it is right now, but that means the trout are probably so happy right now. And right now is probably our best time that we could ever ask for to try catching these trout. So I'm gonna put my best foot down and we are going to trout fish this absolutely breathtaking hole. There's three holes here that we're gonna try fishing, but I missed a couple fish in this hole right in front of me yesterday. So we're gonna start there, but wow, this is just, this view would never get old. I could see this every day and it would literally never get old. It's so cool. That is some of the clearest water I've ever seen. It does not get any clearer than that. And I know that the trout are in here, unless they moved from yesterday, but hopefully not. I brought a crawfish trap just in case. I would love to put it out. If I see a spot that looks like there would be some crawfish, I will totally put it out because that sounds incredible. I would love to get some fresh mountain crawfish, but you know, beggars can't be choosy. Let's start with the trout first. To start us off this morning, I'm going to do the most simple thing and just toss around a pan mar up that. And I'm just gonna toss around a panther. Oh, and I'm just gonna toss around a panther martin. This bad boy got me multiple trout bites yesterday. Multiple. Didn't didn't catch one, but you know, it got the bites, right? So that's something. Alright, let me get my my sports bra on so we can take some cast and see where the day takes us. I will spend all day if I have to, by the way. I'm fully well aware of how my performance was yesterday to the point where um, it might take me all day. It might take me sunrise to sunset today. Uh, what time is it? Time check, let's find out. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's 5.42. So yes, I will be spending sunrise to sunset. The sun was up at 5.15. Please, Trout, I'm begging you. I know I, we messed around for five, six hours yesterday, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> trout catch and cook, let's do it. Yesterday, they were right here, but it was midday when they were there. I think I just got a follow, I'm not gonna lie. I think I just saw, oh yeah. I just saw him. We just got a follow on our first cast. Are you kidding? I saw a monster in this hole yesterday. Oh, this is so cool. That was that was good. That's a good sign. Doesn't mean anything though because I they followed me a couple times yesterday. Early morning, usually trout go shallower in the morning. So let's keep walking up. Oh, oh! Please tell me you guys saw that. Please, 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 please tell me you guys saw that. That trout that followed me, yeah, he just hit top water. No way, that was so cool. If I had a fly rod and reel right now, I'd probably be killing it, not gonna lie. That was beyond cool. I got this rigged up. This probably won't work, no on my luck, but let's try this. I'm actually a professional trout angler. Well, five hours later, we're headed back to that same exact spot. I drove an hour north to a fly shop to buy a rod and reel. It was relatively cheap. I bought the cheapest rod and the cheapest reel and it came pre-spooled and yeah. Note to self, definitely bring a fly rod and reel with you. 
I literally have a brand new combo at home. But yeah, I didn't bring my fly rod and reel with me on this trip like a dozo. But the guy that recommended me to fish this spot yesterday, or two days ago, sorry, um, is here right now. I see his car. Oh, I literally parked right next to him. So I know he's here fishing right now, which is, I don't know if that's going to be funny or awkward or, or annoying for him, but dude, I don't, it's not like I know what I'm doing anyway, so. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? Good. I I just squad, huh? I just bought a fly rod and reel. I I've been here so many times and they won't eat anything except for like. What do you mean you've been here so many times? You mean since yesterday? Yes. You like this squad, huh? I mean, I, if I could catch a fish. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Well, hopefully I can catch one on this. I appreciate it. Not the best, but here goes nothing. Oh no. Oh god, this is so much better. Ooh, ooh. He thought about it. Ooh, he also thought about it. I always forget that I'm really not bad at this. Ooh, he thought about it. Might have to downsize. Dude, they keep looking at it. All right, this is the smallest fly that I have. Okay, this is the smallest one that I have. I have smaller in the truck if needed, but it should be good. Oh my God. Oh my God, there we go. There we go. There we go. I'm recording. I'm recording. Yes. Yes. Okay, please don't come out. Oh wow, you're so beautiful. Gotta wet my hands. Oh, no. Yes. Oh wow, we somehow just did that. That is so awesome. My first ever trout, I think, on a fly. Wow. We're gonna bonk him on the head and be respectful. And he's dinner. Actually, lunch? I'm not sure. No way. No way. No way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're hooked up again. Dude, they're on fire right now. Oh my God, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. I am not a fly angler. I am not a fly angler. Luckily, we do not need to keep this guy. Oh my God, do I know how to fly fish? Is this my new calling? This is the big one that I've been trying to catch all day. All day, this is the big guy that I've been eyeing. Wow, that's a beautiful rainbow. Wow, guys. I Look at where we are right now and tell me this is not unbelievable. Pops out just like that. Thank you so much to DJ. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Safe release, kind of. Thank you so much to DJ, one of my beautiful, lovely subscribers that sent me that uh, fly. I didn't know when I was gonna use it, but it did indeed come in handy. That is insane. That is the big trout that I've been after all day. He was way bigger in the water looking, but it happened. That is so sweet, man. Two fish in the matter of like 10 minutes and I've been out here since 5 a.m. We did it. The amount of effort and hours and dedication that was put into this is ridiculous. I'm an absolute mess right now, so I'll meet you guys back at the truck. But, oh, we did it. Oh, 
I gotta take that off. What was I just saying? I have never worked so hard in my life for just a little baby trout. That's a lie, honestly, I probably have. But it's been a while. Like I literally drove an hour north. I could have went to Walmart because they had a $50 like rod and reel combo, fly rod and reel combo. But I wanted to go to like a cute ma and pa shop and I found one and it was way north and I, I didn't want to bore you guys with it, but geez louise did it take me a long time. I am out of breath. We are just going like a mile up the road with our trout friend. Don't worry, he's dead. I bonked him on the head. And uh, yeah, he's sitting right next to me. I don't know how sanitary that is. I apologize, but we're heading a mile north right now. And just in a quiet side street would be really nice away from people. <laughs> that would be ideal. When was the last time you guys saw me this jacked up over a fish like this? Couldn't tell ya. I just, did you guys see that? I just got passed. I'm going 60 and a 50. I love that. It is so hot out. We got the trout, fillet knife, the best thing in the entire world. We got everything we could possibly need to cook this bad boy up. The bed of the truck is a little messy. Um, not too bad though. We're gonna clean it up after we're done cooking. I kind of slept like a crazy person last night, it looks like. <laughs> I was exhausted. Yesterday was a long day. So was today, but when in Rome, who cares? Long day or not. This thing saved my life. That fan is unreal. This was easily one of my favorite videos I've done in so long. I'm feeling incredible right now, but here's our Nice, beautiful little setup. That suck if he like got dirty and fell. Anyways, this is so cool. Uh, I love doing catch and cooks out of the truck. It's one of my favorite things. Let me know what I should catch and cook out of the truck next. I am open and I'm all ears. Just let me know. Seriously. Uh, the last thing I need is probably a bowl and then let's get cooking. Good looking. Dude, my hair hates this humidity. Trout. He has sharp teeth. Trout are really cool because they're the easiest fish to, you know, cut up and get ready to cook. Last time I said that trout were the easiest fish to fillet, I got roasted and I got so many mean comments. <laughs> yes, yeah, so technically you don't fillet a trout, but I'm gonna say it. Sorry. I know that's gonna make some people mad. We're gonna fillet our trout. Usually I like to cut off the head. That's just me, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut off the head. See this fin, pectoral fin, you go like that, right down, but kind of at an angle a little bit. They're a little bony right there, but. Oh, did you guys hear that squeak? Oh, love that. And then you're gonna take your head. Some people like fish head soup, I don't. And now there's blood everywhere and you're good. Uh-oh, I got blood on my pillow. Trout, super easy to fillet for all those people in the comments. Anyways, kind of see where that little, they go to the bathroom at, I guess you could say. Just put your knife into it, stick it in there. And then work your way through, just go straight if you can. If you feel boniness and whatnot, just kind of try to work your knife around all that. Cause there's gonna be some stuff in there. Um, then kind of just keep going. And then all that gross stuff, just plop that into a bowl as best as you can. You wanna get all that stuff out. Like, I don't know how much of this YouTube's gonna let me show, but you wanna clean out like all that bloodline and whatnot, um, in which I'm going to do. Last time I did this, I forgot to go all the way down to the tail. There is meat from here down that is delicious as well. So if you can, make a really small incision and kind of stay in the middle as best as you can. To teach their, to each teach their own, or however that saying goes, but when I catch a, a fish, I, I like to look inside of its stomach and kind of see what, what's going on. Last time we did a trout catch and cook out of the truck, the trout had plastics in it, like a bunch of soft plastic bass fishing baits all in it like it was gross what was in that fish's stomach was disgusting we ate it and it was delicious but 
I just went through this trout stomach and the only thing you'll find in there is bugs. Like they're supposed to be eating. It's so crazy how you just go three to four hours north into the mountains and the difference is seriously like astronomical. Like the fact that I, I was getting ready to like see some bass fishing plastics and I was like, wait, no one's bass fishing there. Everyone's respectful, not everyone, but for the most part, everyone's respectful picking up their plastic and their trash and these fish are living their best life. Everything in this trout stomach was bugs, flies. Like literally all flies. It's just crazy. It's always a smart thing to kind of rinse your trout. I just finished cleaning it to the best I can. You can't usually get everything, but get a bowl. If I was still at the spot where I caught the trout, I of course would be washing it in the stream. But we are in the truck camper. Just, just rinse her. Just get all that out. Make sure she's nice and clean to your likings. That looks incredible. Feels so good just to lay back and relax. After all of our hard work, it, it did indeed pay off. Like, that looks so flaky and delicious. Yeah! This is the freshest and cleanest trout I've ever caught and cooked. So the way that we cooked it, there's always going to be bones, but just power through it. Pluck them out as you go. That is incredible. Holy moly. That is the best trout I've ever caught. Ever caught. <laughs> that is the best tasting trout I've ever cooked. I mean, it literally just falls off the bone. We're barely even getting bones. Like, it's just coming off like nothing yeah this was it it's just nice like trout don't need to be deep fried they just need just a little bit maybe a lot of bit totally your call on the old bay seasoning thrown on a pan for a couple minutes maybe three on each side less than that more than that depending on the heat of the pan and you got yourself some of the best tasting fish you can't like look at that piece of meat and say, no, oh, that doesn't look good. I mean, I guess if you're a vegetarian then, but you're not a vegetarian. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it is hot in here. 82 degrees. Probably didn't help that I cooked in here, but that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I picked that thing clean. There's like barely anything left on that. That was good. Good job, guys. Woo! I'm not gonna lie. I almost fell asleep. So I'm about 30 minutes north of another trout spot I'm sorry about my hair please ignore it yeah we're gonna go to another trout spot and i just want to see if i can catch another trout at a spot that i was struggling at recently as well and see if the fly rod and reel is just really the key to life is it the key we'll find out i'm full i'm happy i'm like jittery because of how just stoked i am that it worked out 
beyond thankful. <laughs> now, let's pack everything up and head south. We haven't said that once this entire trip. It's just been north, 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 another hour, another hour. But we're going just a little bit south and then take it from there. I don't want to just end the video now. I want to bring you guys along with. It's been so fun. It's just been a fun day. Fun day hanging out with you guys. And it's just gonna... I don't know. I'm rambling now. Let's get out of Dodge, baby. I don't understand that saying, by the way. Let's get the out of Dodge. Oh, dude, there's two people and waiters trout fishing right where I wanted to. Yeah, there's already two people covering pretty much the entire river right now. Not sure if I'm going to actually catch anything here. This is my last little spot, though. I missed three fish here yesterday. Pretty sure I just saw a couple trout blow up. And if so, I want to catch him. It's so crazy. If you do not have the space to cast, it's so difficult. Oh, there's trout everywhere. There's trout everywhere. Oh my god. No, that's a giant. Guys, these are big trout. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Trout on, trout on, trout on. I'm a trout fisherman now. Guys, this is sick. This is so sick. Oh, this isn't a rainbow. This is not a rainbow, this is a brook trout. Oh, oh. Yeah, those guys are pretty nice. Look how beautiful. Mountain, highway, brook trout. See you later, bud. That was so freaking cool, man. Oh, that's the giant. The giant's right there. This water is anything but clean compared to what we were fishing. Wow, that was insane. I did not expect to catch another fish. Honestly, I was just going with the flow and the flow worked out, let's just say that. I caught a brook trout. I don't know who I think I am. Some professional fly angler, Ooh, apparently. But I'm gonna end off the video here. I'm gonna figure out where I wanna camp for the night and all that fun stuff because honestly, I don't know where the heck I am. And that's the beauty of truck camping, so. Yeah, if you guys are liking the mountain series, let me know. I'm having so much fun. I can't believe I caught fish on the fly, out of everything, on the fly. Pretty incredible. But that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. GookinSquad.com, code Becca. <laughs> I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.